Dear Maple Story players, we launched a page to report botters in Maple Story by video on July 2nd in a trial run. After that, we received a lot of support and participation from enthusiastic maplers in order to protect the green environment of Maple Story. We are very grateful to all the honest and enthusiastic maplers for their normal and legitimate video reporting work, and also especially thank the jury for the auxiliary review of the video. Reporting violations of botters via video will be something we will continue to do. However, during this trial run, it is precisely because the participation of the majority of players exceeded expectations that this page exposed many problems that need to be solved and optimized in order to improve efficiency. Therefore, we have temporarily closed the video reporting function, maintaining the reported list related functions, and will perform a second upgrade and optimization of the system. We will optimize and improve not only the following functions 1. Audit optimization of auditors. Add some audit suggestion items, filter the list to be audited, etc. 2. Batch processing function for confirmed as studio violation, various optimization and improvement plans are in progress. 3. Subtract plan for reporting facts and reporting attitudes. We found that during the reporting process, some video reports are real, but the player's supplementary explanation contains unrealistic slander on the official. For those with serious circumstances, the official will keep it the right to be held accountable. Regarding the upgrade and maintenance of the video report function, we hope everyone will understand each other. In this regard, we would like to briefly add the following explanation. 1. In addition to video reporting channels, we are also insisting on punishing Butter Studios in other ways every week. This is the case for the Maple Story Review on Account Banning list published once a week. 2. Although we are banning tens of millions of illegal accounts every week, we also organize GM online patrols. The counterattack speed of the Botter Studios is amazing. Maybe the official has just announced the banning list, and the players can see a large number of Botter Studios online in seconds or next week, leaving you the illusion of official inaction. In fact, we have never stopped cracking down on Botter Studios, but the efficiency of closure needs to be improved. The optimization of the video reporting system this time is also carried out to improve related efficiency. 3. The Botter Studio is constantly updating to try to circumvent the Botter defense and the Botter detection. This has made it more difficult for us to fight against them. We need to work with developers to research new technologies and continuously improve the ability to compete with them. Although it is currently impossible to achieve 100% offense, this does not mean that we will tolerate and condone the botters. Dear Maplers, especially honest players who truly love and support the justice of Maple Story, you can criticize and complain that our technical level against botters is not up to your expectations and requirements. But please do not question our will and determination to fight against botters. 4. Many players complain that we do not carry out online inspections and bans. In fact, we have been doing them all the time, but this banning method is not efficient and consumes a lot of manpower and energy. May I ask you to think about it from another perspective? Players are tired after reporting 20 botters on the site. Then is the number of GM patrols and manual bans even less than 20? Put the same time and energy, but the benefits are really limited and insufficient. I believe that everyone feels the same. Compared with the number of players in the project team, the number of staff is like a drop in the bucket. With limited manpower, our efforts are likely to be shrouded in the dark side of the game, overwhelmed, and even not understood by everyone. Please think about it again. The current video report page has received about 3,000 reports in 10 days. Even if all of them are violations and no repetitions, after we verified one by one, only 3,000 violators were blocked, compared to the previous ones. There are tens of millions of illegal accounts in weekly banning, which is nothing more. The servants of the Botter Studio are covering up the truth of our crackdown on violations. Therefore, we do not see light now, not just because there is no light but there are layers of black clouds covering the light now.
We will continue to work hard to explore the light, but only if everyone supports and understands us can we continue to move forward. 5. Many players will ask why are the Botter Studios still so rampant and stubborn under the official Great Intensity fight? That's because there are still some players who have interests in trading with them. The Botter Studios earn mesos and brush items by illegal means in the game, and players buy cheap goods from them. This invisibly contributes to their arrogance. The Botter Studios deprives the players of the game benefits that originally belonged to the player. Therefore, we once again strongly appeal to everyone. Please do not have any dealings with the studios only if the Botter Studios are really contained, our game environment and game welfare will get better and better. In addition to requiring everyone's strong support, we will continue to explore and research methods to combat Botter Studios. We believe that the green environment of Maple Story is getting closer and closer to us, and we need you who truly love games and are honest to create it together. Everyone is responsible for boycotting and cracking down on Botter Studios. Maple Story Project Team, July 12, 2021.